it's very important to prototype every day and one of the key reasons is there's so many ideas that are out there. What you want to do is get to that right idea as fast as you can. It's going to save you an immense amount of time and money up front. Some things to consider when doing that are consolidating parts. If you're designing four or five parts, try and make them into one part. It's going to save you time getting them prototyped or printing them out. Uh, another suggestion in terms of prototyping is to save up the different parts that you're going to prototype and don't print out just one idea overnight. Print out three or four or five ideas overnight so that it doesn't take you a week to make a decision. It takes you just one day to make a decision. And then last, last tip for prototyping every day. Think about coupons. When you go shopping for a new floor or a new rug, they've got small samples to help you decide. If you're trying to make decisions on the um, size of a particular feature, if it should be thicker or thinner, or maybe just as simple as how much to raise your logo, very important part of your design. Um, print out four or five samples, just that small area of your model, and from that you can make a decision quickly without having to wait for the entire print to go. Three printing, uh, or as it's known, additive manufacturing, uh, is uh, basically building a part from scratch, uh, as as opposed to subtractive manufacturing when you remove material. Additive manufacturing uh, is layer by layer with building a, a part from scratch. Um, the three printing sweet spots will be anything that related to a customized part or low volume manufacturing. Uh, uh, when we are talking about high volume manufacturing, uh, the old manufacturing technique still is going to be more uh, efficient, like injection molding, for example. So the 3D printing speed, a, a sweet spot is going to be uh, anything that's related to customization and low volume manufacturing. When designing something, it's important to know uh, the difference between accuracy and detail when speaking about 3D printers. And when you're talking about accuracy, it's knowing how accurate a printer is going to print something. If I say that it's going to be one inch or three inches or four inches, when we actually print it, how close will it be to that actual size? Detail is subtly different. It's more about the small things that are inherent in the design. It could be a very small feature, or it could actually be maybe a texture that we're trying to capture or print, such as um, if we had a, a brick exterior or some other architectural feature. So, quite simply, accuracy is related more to, say, a dimension or measurement, and detail would typically be more related to maybe a, a surface finish or texture. 3D printing have different technologies today. Um, there are powder technologies, there are uh, inkjet technologies, there are uh, fuse deposition uh, technologies, and it's important before uh, uh, purchasing a printer or uh, uh, getting any services to identify the right technology that will be good for my application. Um, there's, there's technologies, for example, like FDM that will, will create more durable parts. That will be great for functional testing, uh, end-use parts, um, in manufacturing applications. Uh, other technologies like Polyjet, for example, which is an inkjet technology, will be great for prototyping. This is, uh, uh, we can print in colors, different kinds of materials, uh, great uh, uh, surface finish and, uh, and fine details. So before I'm going out there and trying to uh, get a quote for a part or for a printer, it's important to identify the right technology for my application.